envisioned himself as a cowboy, as a Western singer, and that's what ended up happening. At the time, they were looking for the next big star, the next Elvis. Between his acting and his music and his charisma, he was on his way. But things didn't go as he had expected. I've learned so much from you, you the Soviet people. I love you very, very, very much. They saw a genuine opportunity to have this American come to the USSR. Fans were flocking to concert halls. Russian culture was very restricted at the time. They would barely move. Dean was not like that. For us, it was the biggest revelation after Bible. Dean enjoyed the benefits of Soviets needing a socialist Western rock star. Love your brother! Here's an American. But he! Who's telling you like it is? And that was the extraordinary power of Dean Reed. He expressed how much he was missing home. An entertainer who has become the Soviet version of a superstar yearns to duplicate his success back home. He's put together plans to come back to America. I would love to go back and be senator of Colorado. He considered this a great opportunity. It was a disaster. In the height of the Cold War, traitors are hung. They're killed. Dean's in trouble. Six weeks after this interview was broadcast, he disappeared. There are too many unanswered questions. When he refuses to work with the secret police, he becomes a liability. There was a high level of sedative in his blood. Accident. That's what they said. I don't believe it.